So now, Rabotai, Cain came back in two different bodies in the same generation. Part of his soul came as this Egyptian soldier, part of his soul came in Itro. <coughs> Itro gave his daughter Tzipora to, to Moshe, that means Cain is giving a girl to Evel. I kill you because of a girl? I'm giving you a girl. Tzipora, she came back in reincarnation. Who was she in her next life? Devora, the prophet female, female prophet, thanks to Hashem. Why Tzipora came back? Because she wasn't in the singing to Hashem. Remember Moshe left her with the kids? She did not have the opportunity to praise Hashem. She came back to sing to Hashem. Everything is computerized and precise. We obviously don't understand 1% of 1% of 1% of what Hashem does. Here and there we get an idea. Moshe escaped to Midian. Where did he go? To the well. Did you, do you see the pattern here? Everyone who comes to a new place, where does he go to? To the well. Why? That's the place where everyone comes every day. That's where you meet all the people. Around the well. Why? There's no faucets. People don't have pipes. Everybody wants to drink. Come to the well. There's a well. You want to meet who is in town? Stand by the well. Everyone will see that you're a stranger. They will ask you, hey, where are you from? What do you do here? Who, you, who are you looking for? Where are you heading to? That's where you make your connection. Mm -hmm. They need Facebook. Thank you. Come to the well. You meet everyone you want. So he says, yes, he throws seven girls. What happened? She came, one of them, to get some water from the well. And the shepherds came and kicked her out. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here. And Moshe came and saved them. Vayash He helped them. A nice gentleman. They came to their father and they said, why did you come so quick today? He said, an Egyptian man saved us from the shepherd and also helped us to give water to the, to the sheep. And where is he? Why didn't you bring him to eat something? I want to remind you, this is the Pope, master of idol worshipping of the whole world, Kohen Midian, servant of all the idols. Where is he? Why did you leave the man? Call him and he should eat with us. And Moshe agreed, and he came. And what happened? He offered him a job. What are you? I'm a shepherd. A <laughs> shepherd. All right, work for me. What happened? He gives him his daughter Tzipora to be the wife. Then they have a kid, they call him Gershom. Why? Because I'm a, a resident. Ger means a resident. In a strange country, in a stranger country. What happened after that? The king of Egypt died. Some say he really died, some say he has leprosy. Either way, he's unable to function. The nation of Israel had an unrest. Ha, ah, we finally can breathe. Now they have time to scream to Hashem, enough is enough, help us. And Hashem listened to their screaming, and he remembered his covenant with Abraham. Moshe is a shepherd of Yitro. Now, Hashem is revealing himself to him from the burning bush. And the burning bush is still remain full, full of fire, but it's not getting burned. Moshe says, oh, what's going on here? Something is not right here. Let's see what's going on. He comes to the bush and Hashem say, take off your shoes. Why? The place where you're standing is holy. That's why the Arabs take their shoes off when they enter the mass, because of this verse. You cannot enter the mass before you take your shoes off. 
I am the God of your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Moshe, he this face. He was afraid to look at God. 